<laughs> what up, Internet? Corinne here, and you're watching Corinne vs. Pin. All right, so we are in prime Halloween decorating time. Plus, we just moved into a new neighborhood not too long ago, so we feel like it's our DIY duty, duty to have the scariest house on the block. A lot of you have been suggesting various versions of these cheesecloth ghosts, and honestly, they're just not scary enough for me. Well, that's all right, sir, because I don't want to scare anybody anyway. So, I'm going to make a ghost combining all the different techniques to create the ultimate cheesecloth ghost hybrid. Hopefully. Let's get started, shall we? First, I headed to the fabric store to pick up some supplies. Ugh, Christmas stuff already? Gross. Oh wait, I do need some of these. Ooh, black glass balls. Okay, I realize I'm part of the problem. Moving on. So I was gonna get this type of head because of this project from Martha Stewart, but I honestly think a skull will be much scarier. Jeez, these things are expensive. Anyway, next I picked up a few packages of cheesecloth, then headed to the fabric section to get some muslin. I'm pretty sure that trying to get fabric cut at this place is what hell must be like. Nope, waiting in the checkout line is much worse. Why do they even have all these registers? Okay, yeah. When I got back home, I ventured into the basement and retrieved a random piece of wood from this weird wood pile we have down here. This is probably some sort of fire hazard. I guess I'll deal with that later. Next, I got styrofoam all over the effing place, digging a hole out of the bottom of the skull. Then I placed it on top of the piece of the wood, like so. Game of Thrones, anyone? Next, I added Mod Podge to the skull and the first layer of cheesecloth. After adding the second layer, I realized adding black to the eye sockets would give it more dimension. This didn't really work so well with the fabric in the way, so I cut the fabric away from the eye sockets, then added the black. After that, I did more layers of glue and cheesecloth and let it dry. Next, I proceeded to construct the body section using a combination of this project and this project. But instead of long arms, I'm gonna use this technique to create shoulders. Then I wrestled with a roll of chicken wire for a good while. Be careful, it's a biter. Birkenstocks were probably a bad idea. Anyway, I finally achieved this shape. It kind of reminds me of something. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> After I got the shape I guess I wanted, I draped half the muslin over the skirt part and then the other half over the shoulder part. Next, I put some glue and then the head onto the stake and set the top shoulder part at an angle to make it way more creepy. But to see if it's truly creepy enough, we need to test this out on a living subject. happy with how my ghost turned out. It's not exactly what I was going for, but you know what? It's cool enough for me. Do you have a project you want to see us try in the show? Leave a link to it in the comments down below. Also, if you haven't seen them already, I got some new videos over on my personal channel. They are not for the faint of heart. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on Instagram, and I'll see you later. <laughs>